Once again in Champaign, Illinois, it is marvelously raining. And because it's marvelously raining, my plan for the day got thwarted. I had to stop my plan because I was just getting too wet to go forward to be a person who could stand in front of an individual to sell myself for the project that I'm trying to move forward. The marvelous part about rain is that it gives you beautiful light to do video and other photo captures. But the hard part is if you have technology, you cannot always take your technology unless you're set up for the military into the rain. And that's sort of difficult. My challenge today is not so much the rain as that how people interact in the rain. I can always remember as being a driver feeling that people were a lot crazier when they drove in the rain than they were in the snow or ice or other types of inclement weather. But I guess the marvelous thing about the rain is that sometimes people are much more caring and kind. But all I can describe to you is what the scene just happened to me, which was a man allegedly named John came out of the Staples store to come and play along. He went into the shop next door, which is the Dollar Tree, where I'm sitting sort of equidistant between the main doors to be out of the way from their customers. And openly he came back by and I simply complimented on the rain. Marvelous rain, isn't it? And that was all my intent, was just to do as the Lord called me and beckoned me to do. And with that, he asked me if I needed anything. So I, he offered if I needed some water and I said, well, that'd be marvelous. I'd hate to put you out for that because I'd just taken my shoes off and I do have me a dollar where I can buy that water. But at the same time, I might need a little cooking water. So, you know, it's okay that sometimes people want to be kind. And I described the bottle of water that I was looking for, which is a tall uh, half gallon kind of blue bottle. And he sort of was impatient to do the task and uh, then he came back out to show me a bottle that I had purchased in the past, but it's not my favorite beverage in terms of its flavor. And I said, that'd be fine. And I left it alone. He came back out by with two bottles, a Alka type of bottle and another one. Not that that matters. But the point is, if he had been just on two seconds uh, more um, able to listen, I might have been able to articulate to him exactly where to find the bottle that I was interested in that he was offering to offer me. Okay, so he plays me with these bottles, and I thank him graciously, and I tell him that was out of the way kind, and what I discover is he's going back in the staple shop. So my feeling is because the person who walked out on me two seconds before his arrival was actually the manager of the staple store moving herself into the Dollar Tree and out of the Dollar Tree with no packages, is that I'm again being played with. The hard part about being in the play is that the Lord God above knows every play that's out there. And openly, because they know every play that's out there, they don't like to be played with. I mean, when does God need you to play with his plans? Isn't that an interesting question? When on earth does the Lord God above need you as a human being to play in the plans he has for the people that he loves?